Hello and welcome to Heritage Farms. This is episode 5. And we've just come out of our winter hibernation. Our chickens have been fed and they've had enough food for the winter. They had enough food for the winter. They've multiplied quite well. We are now at full capacity of 30 chickens. And we're back into March now. Each month uh, has cost us about 200 euros in maintenance fees, but we haven't spent a lot of money. But this is the first month that we've got contracts and we're going to be doing fertilizing contracts. This is going to be quite a exercise in seeing if it's worthwhile or not in terms of the amount of fertilizer that is used. Because of course we have to buy the fertilizer to to be used. So that's the only contracts we've got. We've got to start get going. Um, we do have a thousand liters in storage that came with the farm, so we've got some fertilizer. We'll see how far that goes. Now I've just got to find out how to get into the pellet storage area. Um, well, let's find the tractor first. There it is there. It's always the same when you get back from uh, from having closed down everything for a couple of months. You've got to try and remember where you left things. Right, the first thing is that we don't have a a fertilizer spreader in the museum at the moment, so we'll have to go and source one so that we can get these fertilizer contracts done. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Let's get this all started, get it checked out. As I have mentioned, we do have a thousand litres of uh, fertiliser in storage, so that should go some way to getting things done. Now, I've still got to try and find out how we get into that. storage thing, but as usual I'll find something else to do first before that. <laughs> yeah, we're going to look for a fertilizer spreader. So there's a couple there. I think the Vicon is the one that I want to get. And those are interesting and we will get them for the museum, but the spreading width is not great where this one is reasonable. It is a vintage. Those are more modern so we won't be looking at those. Those are pretty much antique. <laughs> um, yeah, the spreading distance is a little bit limited. Yeah, so I think we'll, we'll stick with that for now. We will buy those those other two to put into the into the museum at some time. But this is the one that I think we're going to use. We'll put the extension on. A little bit more modern than the actual tractor, but um, and a little bit more expensive than the other two as well. But still, got to also still balance the fact that we'll we'll need to do pretty much all as many of those fertilizing contracts as we can this month um, bearing in mind that some will be taken up by other contractors so um, yep let's purchase that good we've got that into the museum and it is working just load this up and then finally we'll have to go and try and find where the Trigger point is for the <laughs> I know more or less where it is, but um, it's just a question of finding it and then remembering where it is. Yeah, tractor handles it quite easily. It's a really good tractor, that. Really good tractor. For its age and its horsepower, plenty of torque in it. 
doesn't seem to struggle with the equipment that we've been using with it. Seems to be able to maintain a, a good speed when we when we're working on the fields. No, I don't think it's going to be in there. Maybe inside there, but I doubt it. Still going to have a look. I suppose I should just put the uh, interactive markers on, but I'm trying to work it out for myself and then hopefully I'll remember it. There we go. Yeah, so I just need to remember if that door is open, it's on the left edge of the, of the big door and a couple of feet backwards. So there we go. So it's our thousand meters of fertilizer. So it's not going to cost us anything to start with. Let's load it up and then we'll head over to field 14, I think it was. Shouldn't take too long, too long to load. Yep, we're going to start on field 14, so we've got 14, 12 and 1 to do. Beautiful, beautiful spring day. Hopefully we'll get some grass contracts this season. Cutting some grass, hopefully. But uh, we've gone the wrong way again. <laughs> oh dear. I always, I'll, it's not the first time I've done that. It's just weird. And I think the last time I was also trying to find field 14 and I went the wrong way. So I'm interpreting something wrong somewhere. It's actually just up to drag here and to the left. And I think field 12 is in amongst these trees to our right here. So they're fairly close together. Yeah, here we go. this going and we'll see how much fertilizer we use here hopefully we'll be able to get this field done with at least this field done because those big bags are quite expensive about 1800 euros each so it's a relatively expensive operation um, It's just it's dependent really on how much how much we use on every field. It's a reasonable spreading width for these size fields, so I'm quite happy with that. I think I've made the right decision in buying the slightly slightly newer vintage spreader than some of the almost antique spreaders. They would have worked fine, but uh, it would have just take, taken a lot longer. And I'm hoping to do at least four contracts, four fertilizing contracts this, um, this month. Just get the, uh, the headland done. Probably wasting a little bit because I don't think I'm getting the full. That's also why I like to sometimes use workers on the fertilizing contracts once I've done the headlands. It's because they are much more efficient at, uh, than I am at um, the maintaining the overlaps to a small amount. I tend to overcompensate on the overlaps. Not sure I'm actually fertilizing an area that I've already done now. We're still wasting. <laughs> I think it's the shadows conf confuse me a little bit there. It's a bit of a waste. Right, 
let's get this set up now for the worker to get going. Just trying to work out which way I want to do it. I think I'll go to the top, across the top there. Yeah, in the sunlight it's quite easy to see where you've fertilised because of the change of colour. But sometimes in the shadows, well, I'm looking for excuses, aren't I? <laughs> wonder if I should just do this left, this one on my own. I should put it onto the worker. Um, should be okay. Yep, I just, we'll, we'll get the worker going. Yeah, we've got it. Sorry. I was just worried about that little, little nook there. I've set him to bit of an overlap just to get him working properly and that gives us a time to have a look at the, at the fertilizer spreader in action That's of course the far more tractor the changing colour that I was talking about. Looking good, looking good. Quite happy with the volunteer. Luca, we've just got to remember to submit our claims every month to the town council. Little baggy tail. thing about having a worker on is we can uh, get some nice angles on the and looking at how the vehicles are working and we can zoom out and get an overall view of the field how far we are on and of course workers don't as long as we remember to claim don't cost us anything <laughs> We might as well use them. That's good for the community service. For the, well, for the community. I don't know whether we do any um, rock picking contracts. We don't have a rock picker. We'll see what comes up this year. This will be our full year, first full year of um, contracting. So, I mean, towards the end of uh, or the beginning of the series, we were basically doing harvesting contracts. So they are going to come in sort of clumps, if you want to call it that. Like everything is fertilising now. And we'll have. Uh, imagine planting and rolling, well, I don't know whether we do rolling contracts, certainly planting and seeding need to be done. We've got to start saving our money as well, so we can buy the next uh, little farm area where we can put some more co equipment and some more equipment to put out for show in the museum. Not all of the pieces will be used but 
we will try to use a lot of them just to see how they operate. Just depends on how contracts fall and what machinery we have available, what we've bought. Try and use, try and show things that we have bought quite quickly. Well, that's the end of the contract. That's that done. And yeah, so I noticed that there was a lot of fertilizer left, and I realized that I hadn't set the refill situation with regard to the workers. That's cost us a lot of money. You can see their fertilizer cost 770 euros. We still do have a fair amount of fertilizer in the, um, in the spreader. So it's not all, all bad, but it's a lot more expensive to have it filled as the worker goes along. So that was a bit of a faux pas. Not great. There's nothing we can do about it now. It is done. So we've still got 700 odd litres in, um, in the spreader. And to put this onto a time lapse and speed it up now while we go through fertilizing the rest of the field and traveling between them just to uh, get things moving as such so now we're going up to field 12 it's also another fairly big field Although we're not on the workers now, just on us, uh, just doing the headland ourselves, so that would have still, still utilised fertiliser that was in the, in the spreader. Quite happy with that now. Yeah, we'll be able to certainly do this field and hopefully we'll be able to do all all three of the fields that that we've started with now. Um, this field and field one without ha having to replenish. And then that will effectively mean that um, we've used 700 euros worth of fertilizer. We've had to spend 700 euros on fertilizer to do the three fields and we should get four, five, six, about six thousand odd I would imagine. I think the one was the high threes, the other one was in the twos and the small one field. Um, the old one was just under a grand so uh, it's probably between five and six thousand made and it's costing us well hopefully just the 700 euros so it's a fairly 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 good return it's not too bad i don't think we'll really shy away too much from from fertilizing contracts Keep this at the full time speed just to get through it. I'm trying to show most of the work that we do. There will be a bit of jump cutting here and there, which I think we've already seen. But this is our first season back, we don't have a lot of other work re really to be done. And this whole field I've just done myself. Right, so that's that. Those three done, so let's head on back to the farm. And collect our money. So I'm coming into the to the town, <laughs> to normal speed. <laughs> we should just be to the left. Yeah, there we go. 
How much have we got now? Yeah, we've got a little bit left. Not much. We'll have to, if we get in more contracts, we'll have to buy more fertilizer. Got a, well, a slight idea about the fertilizer, not having to buy a huge big um, big bag full of fertilizer. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's go and get our money first. So here we are, 18,000. So we've got 944. Three, six, nearly seven thousand to come in, and there is one field nine still needs is still available. So we'll we'll take on that, and then that's probably going to be it for the day. Don't see any more. So we've got these small bags of fertilizer, which are I think they're 100 litres and they're 50 euros per 100 litres. I think that's actually a slightly better price than the big bags. Yeah, uh, uh, so this is no, it's 50 litres, not 100 litres, 50 litres. At, uh, so it's a, a euro a litre. That's a thousand litres for one eight. So it's 1.8 here, so it's cheaper to buy the small bags. I must remember that in the future. Yeah, it's much cheaper to buy the small bags. It's nearly half the price. Unless I'm not working it out. Yeah, because that's a, a pound, or at least a, a euro a litre. 1,800 for 1,000 litres is 1.8 euros per litre pretty sure I got that right buy a couple of these put them in 100 litres oh, that's probably not going to be enough I think we need to buy another 100 litres but let's just see how this is this just water full as well, or do we have to actually lift each bag up? We used these small bags before. No, you can water load them. So that's good. I think we'll get another two bags. Yeah, I'm, I'm even more, I'm even happier now with doing. Uh, Fertilizing contracts, they could be fairly lucrative now. Pretty happy with that. Right, so now we've got to go to field number nine. And that is definitely through the garage and out the back. That's the very first field that we ever did a contract on field nine, I think. A couple of months ago, when we first started. Over the years, as we accumulate things, we'll get to know exactly where most of the fields are. Hopefully, we'll stop making these mistakes of going the wrong way. And at the end of the day, we've got another exhibit for our Heritage Museum. just to the top and to the left. That's it. Get this done quickly. And then I think we'll have to call it a day. There's no other work to be done. Let's speed it up. Should I take a couple of passes? The main thing is whether we can have enough fertiliser without having to go and replenish. It's going to be touch and go. Should be okay there. Yeah, we're going to make it. We're going to make it. There we go. <laughs> Switched off a little bit late, but yeah, so exactly right. Fantastic. 
sometimes things work out. Well, that's where we're going to call it today. There are no more contracts to be done. So that's it for March. We'll of course collect the 1,300 income from this and add it into our pool. And then we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Cheerio.